Michelle chose to abandon 35 sick kittens in the woods, leaving them without food or any form of care. However, when she got sentenced, what the judge did will shock you. It was the year 2005, and just a quiet September night in Painesville, Ohio. The stars were shining brightly and there was a light breeze. Everything was in order with the quaint little town. However, 25-year-old Michelle Murray was about to make a decision that would turn her life upside down. She stood on the edge of the woods, looking around frantically to make sure no one was watching her. Then, timing the moment perfectly, she walked into the woods, leaving the night lights of the city behind as she clutched a big box perforated with holes. She walked quickly and purposefully. She knew the woods like the back of her hand, so she didn't need a flashlight to see where she was heading to. After walking for a few minutes, she stopped at the mouth of a trail. She looked around her and the silence was absolute. There was no one else around. She was certain of it. She lowered the box to the ground and gently lifted the lid. At once, the cry of sick kittens filled the air. There were 35 in number, and the box was not wide enough to be comfortable for them. Michelle looked at the kittens and then looked away. Without another glance, she got to her feet and hurried away their persistent meowing echoing in her head until she was out of the woods. She hurried home that night, grateful that the kittens were out of her life for good. She picked the woods because she knew there was no way they would be traced back to her. There were so many cat owners in the city, and finding her would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Unfortunately for her, that wasn't the case, as she had made a big mistake. Michelle was shocked when two police officers turned up on her doorstep two weeks later, demanding her presence at the station. She had no idea what they were calling her for, but she went with them. At the station, she was questioned about the kittens she had abandoned in the woods. At this, she was confused. She had no idea how they had managed to track her down, despite all the precautions she took. The interrogating officer assured her that all she had to do was tell them the truth because they had her cornered. Park rangers in charge of the woods found the kittens after she abandoned them. Sadly, many of them were ill, with most suffering from upper respiratory infections. Sadly, nine of them later died as a result. The park had managed to trace Michelle as the owner of the kittens due to the identification collars they wore. At this revelation, Michelle realized that she had indeed been cornered. She confessed that she felt she didn't have a choice in the matter. The kittens had been dropped off at her doorstep and she had no idea what to do with them. She claimed she had even reported the case to the local Humane Society to get some help, but they refused to help her. Leaving the kittens in the woods was the only safe choice she could think of. All Michelle's confession did was stall the investigation for a while. The investigators reached out to the Humane Society to verify her claim, but they denied ever being contacted by her. This made them realize that if she was lying about the Humane Society, she could also be lying about the kittens being dumped on her doorstep. This was a clear case of animal abandonment and neglect that led to the death of nine of the kittens. The state of Ohio was stringent in its measures to crack down on animal cruelty, and Michelle's case wouldn't be any different. The investigators were going to ensure that she paid for her crimes. In November, she was charged to court. The judge assigned to her case was Judge Michael Sicanetti of the Painesville Municipal Court. He was known for his creative ways of dishing out punishments to offenders. He loved animals, even as a child, and he just couldn't understand why some people chose to maltreat them. He believed that if one couldn't take care of the animal, they had no business getting them in the first place. And if some owners couldn't take care of them anymore, there were ways to ensure that such animals ended up with the right families again. So with all this in place, he never took kindly to defaulters. He dealt with a case like Michelle's years earlier when a lady who didn't take proper care of her dog was charged to court. She didn't bathe him and never washed his living quarters. So, as a punishment, Sicanetti had her stay in the dirtiest and smelliest dump for eight hours so she could have an idea of what her poor dog went through every day. On the day of her trial, Michelle was still adamant, claiming that she had asked the Humane Society for help, but they had ignored her. However, the judge believed she was only saying that as a means to escape punishment. 
Judge Sicanetti listened to the charges levied against her, and he was beyond disgusted. What especially horrified him was the fact that she did that to 35 kittens. How would you like to be dumped off at a metro park late at night? He asked her. How would you like to spend the night listening to coyotes, listening to the raccoons around you in the dark night, and sit out there in the cold, not knowing where you're going to get your next meal, not knowing when you're going to be rescued? Michelle listened without saying a word, unable to answer his questions. Her eyes were downcast, and her fingers were clasped in front of her as he went on. Judge Sicanetti presented the woman with two options. Either spend 90 days in jail for domestic animal abandonment, or face 14 days in jail, 15 days under house arrest, a $3,200 donation to the Humane Society, a $500 donation to the park rangers who discovered the kittens, and a solitary night in the woods. Michelle thought about the judge's decision. 90 days in jail was a long time, but with only 14 days, she could be out in two weeks. The second option seemed easier for her, so she chose it. With the bang of the gavel, her sentence was set. She spent the next two weeks in jail and the 15 days that followed under house arrest as directed by the judge. She also paid all the donations she was required to. Spending the night in the woods was the last lap of her sentence. The night she was to do it, she was dropped off at a remote location in the woods without food, water, gear, or any means of entertainment. All she had with her were the clothes she was wearing. She was allowed to take as many as she wanted in case of cold, and she was also allowed to build a fire due to the plunging temperatures. That night was one of the worst nights of Michelle's life. All through the night, she could barely close her eyes to sleep. The ground was cold and merciless against her skin. It also didn't help that she could hear the incessant chattering of raccoons around her. They remained out of sight, hidden by the woods and the darkness, but they just never kept quiet. Even with the fire she built and the extra clothes she wore, she still felt cold. When she closed her eyes even for a few seconds, she was certain the raccoons would come out. Every now and then she heard the heavy flapping of wings above her, followed by the hooting of owls. As a result, she stayed awake all through the night, unable to sleep a wink. By the time day broke and the park rangers sent a vehicle to come pick her up, she had bags under her eyes. And all she could think about was the warmth of her home and the soft comfort of her bed. She knew now what the poor kittens had gone through when she abandoned them in wild woods. For the first time since the police officers showed up at her doorstep, she was truly sorry for the way she treated the animals. She learned the hard way that animals also have rights and deserve to be treated kindly. She vowed to never maltreat any animal ever again. She would treat them as she would treat her children and make sure she gave them the best life possible if she was ever given the chance to own an animal again. What an incredible story! Michelle sure got what she deserved. She would never treat any animal the same way ever again. If you were the judge, what sentence would you have given her? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.